Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing starting quarterback for the Alabama Crimson Tide, Jalen Hurts, the sophomore out of Houston, Texas, who led Alabama to an 11-1 record in the 2017-2018 campaign for the Tide, heading on into the college football playoff. Last season actually led Alabama to a 14-1 record, only again at one loss going to the Clemson Tigers and the obvious national champions on the college football playoff stage. So Jalen Hurts has another opportunity to lead his team to the college football playoff championship game against either Georgia or Oklahoma with a win against, again, Clemson, which is a really uh, arguably an even better team this year on the defensive end. And, you know, Alabama has sustained some injuries, some debate over whether or not they should have actually gotten into the college football playoff, them or Ohio State. A lot of discussion over that, but let's get an end to Jalen Hurts specifically as we are creating him in this video. So freshman year for Jalen Hurts, 2,700 passing yards, 2,780 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, 9 INTs, a little bit of a more productive year in 2016, just purely out of the numbers in terms of touchdowns and passing yards and even completion percentage. But Jalen Hurts only threw one interception in 2017 with 15 TDs and a little bit over... 2,000 yards passing the football, but again, still has time to make things up uh, with the college football playoff game against the Clemson Tigers. Not quite as a proficient running game as well, but you know, just as stable, averaging over 5.5, just over 5.5 yards per attempt, and eight rushing touchdowns on the season. So it's definitely been an efficient player for the Crimson Tide. Unfortunately for Alabama's sake, they just haven't played the same competition. Have sustained some injuries as well. That's limited them this year, and obviously they weren't able to make it to the SEC Championship game to increase their level of play, I guess. You know, it's kind of debatable whether or not the SEC Championship game or championship games are really all that valuable. Last year may have been valuable for the Big Ten, you know, because Ohio State ended up getting blown out by Clemson. We'll see if the same thing happens this year. I kind of doubt it. Alabama seems a little bit more well-schooled, but you never really know. I mean, Clemson's pretty tough team but I don't see it happening this year I don't know if Alabama will get destroyed like with the likes of Ohio State did last year against Clemson that was obviously not immediate but you know eventually Clemson did have their way with the Buckeyes so Alabama and Jalen Hurts taking on Clemson Tigers now we go into Jalen Hurts just as a uh, personal player now in in terms of his Madden ability you know it's funny at the end of last year I was kind of thinking to myself okay Alabama's gonna lose a lot of these great players, the Jonathan Allens of the world, the, you know, uh, the, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on his name, Ruben Foster, uh, you know, just some very good defensive players, among other guys that I'm not even naming, that were just Dalvin Tomlinson on the defensive line, a lot of tough guys that are going to be tough to replace, obviously, regardless of the talent they consistently bring in, and they still were phenomenal this year and, and beat the heck out of a lot of opponents, a lot of opponents. Didn't have a very tough strength of schedule this year. And I kind of thought to myself, like, wow, Jalen Hurts is playing this well as a freshman. I can't imagine what he's going to be doing two, three years down the line. And sometimes things don't work out like that. And that might be a little bit of what happened in sophomore year. Although he didn't have a bad year in 2016. Just maybe not quite as an exciting year, I think, uh, for Alabama fans. Um, and again, the running game is, is such a big part of the Alabama offense. You have, obviously, both Scarborough, Damian Harris. Uh, Najee Harris, you know, just a lot of guys that are tough in the running game for Alabama. And then you add, you know, Jalen Hurts as well as running the football a lot. So, you know, to be honest with you, he hasn't had to do a whole bunch to the air. You know, hasn't had more than 25 passing attempts all season long in a single game. So, offensively, people kind of talk about Jalen Hurts needing to step up against the Tigers, and you could definitely make an argument for that, especially considering the fact that you're probably not going to be able to run the football with extreme effectiveness against a team like Clemson, especially considering the fact that they probably know that's what they're going to aim to do, is that's what Alabama's been doing all year long. But Alabama does have playmakers on the outside. Calvin Ridley's, you know, arguably the best wide receiver in the nation, so that's one massive option for them. They don't have the old reliable O.J. Howard or good tight end out there anymore, but they still have some good players, uh, you know, some young guys also the receiving core, but... It's going to be an interesting matchup to see how that, how that all works out. But going into Jalen Hurts and his ratings right here, as you look at 
his player creation. I do like how everything turned out. The skin tone is not what I would prefer. It's a little bit too dark for my preference. Uh, but that's just how the game kind of rolled in terms of the hair. And I didn't see anything that I liked with the skin tone that was offered um, in terms of his face structure and everything. But we got the sleeves on both shoulders or both arms, the half sleeves, the wristbands on both wrists, the Nike Vapor cleats. I believe I put a clear visor and all paint on both sides um, of his face. We get into the ratings now. Again, this is sort of how I would envision him being created as a rookie in Madden NFL 19. You know, if he went to the draft in Madden 19, I'm assuming he'll probably be in Madden 20 or 21. More than likely, more than more likely than Madden 19, to be honest. He's only a sophomore. Uh, I'm sure he'll stay another year, but we'll see. You know, who knows what's going to happen with him. Um, but I don't see him leaving early. But very solid player, good scrambler. So I gave him some nice speed. Uh, very tough as well. Could have even upped the strength in trucking as well a little bit. You know, he, he's a tough guy. Does do a lot of design quarterback runs. Could have made, I think the passing ratings are pretty fair in the mid to high 70s. So all in all, pretty good creation for Jalen Hurts of Alabama and a great suggestion by my viewer. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that, or that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden Player Creation tutorial videos. I'm actually going to try to get in some historic roster breakdown videos if possible in the future. Um, we'll see how that all works out. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.